You can't spell unstable without UST. <laughs> what in the holy hell happened to the Terra ecosystem yesterday? How did a stable coin that had never been pushed below 96 cents swing all the way down to 66 cents? That's a stable coin, like Tether, pegged to the US dollar. Top 10 in market cap, and it's all the way down at 66 cents. In the process, Terra USD took Luna down over 66% and pushed Bitcoin to an all new low for 2022. Let me just warn you, there is some seriously shady stuff going on here, and you may not like it, but this is affecting the entire crypto market, so I need to share it. To help you feel a little better, I'm also gonna share with you how I was able to make a little profit on the side during this mess. So you can make some of these same moves if this ever happens again. Look, when I saw the crypto markets tanking like this, I knew something wasn't right. UST is not supposed to go off peg this far. At one point, I decided to jump in and I bought a couple hundred dollars worth of Terra USD to test some of my theories. I was trying to figure out what was really going on. What I discovered was exchanges blocking transactions, Terra's blockchain grinding to a halt, a catastrophic mess. And this was not an accident. This was planned, orchestrated, and done on purpose. Which leads to the biggest question about this whole thing. Why? Why smash the best algorithmic stablecoin ever created? Instead, just smash the like button. At least that won't take the market into a nosedive like UST did. Is this just about money? Or is there something else going on? Stick with me. I'm going to make sure to answer all of these questions and share some things you won't believe. This is high level information, but it's not financial advice. I'll show you what I discovered and how I profited, but it's all just for entertainment. To show you how this happened, first, I have to explain how Terra USD works. If you already are familiar with this and know this information, then just use the timestamps down below. You can jump right past this section for the uninitiated. Terra is a special breed of stablecoin known as algorithm. So there's coins like USD and Tether. These are collateralized stablecoins. That means that for every dollar of Tether out there, they have a dollar of some other crypto like Bitcoin or Ethereum, and this helps support them. It works great for price stability, but there's a major downfall. This collateralization process makes them exposed to government regulation. And lately, Uncle Sam has been very interested in regulating crypto. Get back over there. I'll circle back on this later. It's really important. Instead of using assets to back the price of Terra USD, they use a little math and a sister token. In this case, Luna. Here's a site called Terra Station. It lets you burn $1 of Luna for $1 of Terra. Dollar for dollar, either direction. This is the key to stabilizing the price of UST. If you go sell some UST on an exchange, the price goes down a tiny amount, just like any other coin. But because of this one-to-one -one burn between UST and Luna, an opportunity is created. Let's say UST were to drop to 95 cents. I could buy it at a discount, burn the UST for Luna, turn around and sell that Luna and make a small profit. This opportunity exists as long as the price of UST is not right at a dollar. Once it get back, gets back to one dollar, this opportunity vanishes. Speaking of opportunities, we still have a great one and it's totally free right now. Go to getmyfreecrypto.com and pick up the airdrop masterclass. It's a great way to get started in crypto at no cost. Okay, so this off peg selling thing, it's such an easy win that lots of people focus exclusively on these tiny transactions and thus they keep the tokens balanced. Normally UST won't stray more than 0.1% from a dollar. It seems like a great plan unless the price of Terra USD drops significantly. Then you have a major problem, which we're going to discuss here in just a second. Look, Terra isn't the first of these algorithmic stable coins and the last few haven't fared very well. Here's empty set dollar trading at four tenths of a penny. This is a Dow operated stable coin that is pegged to the US dollar. Yes, it's supposed to stay at $1 and it did for a little while, but it couldn't maintain. Or what about this one? This is called iron finance. This failure was so massive 
that has spurred Mark Cuban to ask our government for stablecoin regulation. This was another two coin strategy, just like Terra. Once it's lost its peg, the death spiral came into effect. But Terra is much bigger and it's significantly improved. Plus it's battle tested. For one, it has a full token ecosystem. Empty set dollar and iron finance, they were just stable coins. They had no other purpose. Terra has NFTs, DeFi, smart contracts. This gives the Luna token value outside of the stabilizing job. On top of this, Terra has the Luna Foundation Guard, hilariously acronymed LFG. This holds a massive $3.5 billion stockpile of Bitcoin that they can deploy if needed to protect their token. Well, unfortunately, this took our war right from conventional explosives to nuclear weapons and allowed UST to take down the entire crypto market. I'll explain exactly how this happened just in a moment. First, I want to rewind back to the death spiral that began over the weekend. When on May 7th, someone decided to sell a load of Terra USD. Now what happened is this pushed the price down to 0.985. After 1%, it's considered off peg. This alone isn't a huge concern. It does happen from time to time. But the problem was UST didn't repeg. Some of this was caused just by the bearish trend in the market right now, creating some sell pressure. And the longer that it stayed off peg, the worse investor confidence became. But it's starting to look like this is really the act of a shadow hand that may not be in the shadows anymore. But we aren't ready for that just yet. Stay with me. In either case, it worried investors and it led to a 10% drop in Luna over the weekend. Turns out though, it didn't worry this guy, Doquan, founder of the Terra ecosystem. He kept posting memes all weekend long and arrogantly laughing at the problem. It did, however, worry the Luna Foundation a little. So what they decided to do was to inject one and a half billion dollars in liquidity into the Terra ecosystem to support it. But this was like adding gasoline to a fire. To buy the Terra and the UST needed for this liquidity, they had to sell Bitcoin stockpiles. Okay, well, technically they borrowed against their Bitcoin stockpiles, but it had the same effect. And that is massive, massive sell pressure against Bitcoin at a very precarious moment for the crypto market. When Bitcoin goes down, everybody goes down. You see the snowball building. Now comes the shadow hand I mentioned. And right now, the fingers are pointing toward Citadel Capital, one of the world's most credit worthy firms who was dragged in front of Congress last year for running Wall Street dark money pools. It's still coming out in bits and pieces. And I'm working on an interview with the guy who broke this story. Make sure to subscribe by hitting that big red button so you don't miss it when I get that story. But the short version is that Citadel borrowed three billion dollars in Bitcoin and used it to set up short positions, then aggressively sold UST, pushing the token off peg. It's like knocking over a refrigerator. It's really hard at first, but once it tips, there's no stopping it. Citadel only had to start the movement. Then the market took over. The further off its $1 peg UST became, the larger the profit opportunity became. So traders ran in in droves, buying UST at a discount, burning it from Luna, then selling the Luna and netting a profit. And this is how Luna managed to drop. From a May 7th high of over $80 to a May 10th low of under $20. Yes, 75% loss in three days. As long as UST was off peg, people were burning UST and minting Luna, flooding the market with new Luna tokens and devaluing the old ones. Then the traders sold those new Luna tokens, which put massive sell side pressure on the order books. This is what caused Bitcoin and the rest of the market to crash on money. I know it sounds crazy to think that an altcoin could push Bitcoin. It usually goes the other way, but this really is the tail wagging the dog. And here's how I know. I wanted to find out all I could for this video. So I jumped in and I picked up $192.62 worth of Terra USD on Monday 
for $159.32 in USDC. These are both stable coins. It should have been a one-to-one -one swap, but things were crazy. Then I took $50 of that Terra and I moved it to my Terra Station wallet. I ran the numbers and it looked like if I bought UST, then moved it to my wallet, burned it for Luna, moved the Luna back to the exchange and sold it, then bought UST and started this cycle again, I would have to do that cycle six times to double my money. Considering the blazing speed of Terra and its super low fees, this looked very, very possible. Can you imagine how many traders must have been doing this with massive amounts of money? So I withdrew my tokens at 5.40 p.m. And despite the blazing speed, it didn't arrive until 7.26 p.m., almost two hours later. So much for doing that six times. Nonetheless, as Terra USD got closer to the dollar, I continued to make money off of this. If the token ever gets back to peg, I'd make a full 20% gain. While waiting for my token to move, I did some research and I realized Binance had halted withdraw to Terra. So I tried another withdraw on KuCoin and ran into this. One by one, each of the major exchanges stopped letting their customers withdraw to Terra. Within about 30 minutes, the death spiral stopped and a token that sold off as far as 66 cents started moving back towards peg. But it couldn't have happened until someone broke that spiral. And that was the exchanges by, by stopping the withdrawals. Right along with this, Bitcoin, Ethereum, the entire market stopped its freefall. The timing was crazy. Bitcoin had been in a freefall for 15 hours and suddenly it just stopped. Imagine if you'd had Luna staked on a DeFi platform or Luna NFTs. They just lost 66% of their value overnight. And we were already down massively in a bear market. This is how you destroy a token. At the time of this filming, Luna is still not repegged, not even close. The best I've seen all day is 0.93. And mostly it's been hovering around 0.9 all the way down to 0.8, which is a complete mess for a stable coin. This causes investors to lose confidence in the Terra ecosystem. So they are selling Terra like crazy, and that token is tanking. I would not be surprised to see single digit Terra before the week is over. This could be the end of Terra, which leads me to the biggest question. Why destroy the most successful algorithmic stable coin ever? Is it just the old Gordon Gecko? Cause it's wreckable, all right? Maybe. I'm sure Citadel made a killing on this, but I have a hunch it's actually kind of bigger. And sure enough, the headlines this morning backed me up. Bitcoin investors are panicking as controversial crypto experiment unravels. Holders continue to flee the controversial stablecoin. Crypto's audacious algorithmic stablecoin experiment crumbles. It's fairly clear that there is a crisis of confidence. The biggest losers from all this will be retail investors that didn't understand the risks they were taking. Most people I know in crypto didn't find Terra to be a controversial experiment. But suddenly the media is all over this, using the same narrative on every channel. And anytime there's a media hit job like this, I get suspicious. If you follow crypto, then you know there are two big things on the horizon. Institutional money and government regulation. Clearly the institutions want in. But as always, they don't want to pay retail. So anything that pushes down token price for now is good for them. I don't expect to see another bull run until after the institutions get to buy in. And that requires the second step, government regulation. Uncle Sam has been flirting with this a ton lately, and especially the idea of stablecoin regulation and a central bank digital currency. But here's where UST causes a problem. Laws are already in place to regulate traditional stablecoins. They're asset backed and qualify as a security, but not so for algorithmic stablecoins. They require some new laws to be written, which is much harder, unless there were a systemic risk. Then there are plenty of laws in place to regulate them. Well, guess what? As of Tuesday, May 10th, Terra is officially a systemic risk. Yeah! Woo -hoo! Congratulations! The U.S. government is continuing to cast stablecoins as a potential threat to the stability of the U.S. financial system. 
with the Federal Reserve and a senior Treasury officer saying Monday the tokens could experience dangerous customer runs. They have the potential to generate destabilizing runs if the value of the assets backing the stablecoin decline abruptly. U.S. Treasury Secretary Yellen points to UST slip, asks for new stablecoin regulation by the end of 2022. It sounds like Uncle Sam has the perfect recipe to step in and save the retail investor from those risky assets, shore up a case for that digital central bank currency, and open the door to new retail investors. Of course, I can't prove this connection. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below if you think it was just pure greed or is this really part of a master plan? In the end, I feel bad for everyone associated with Luna. It's the type of technology that most of the DGENs just root for. But at this point, I think its days are numbered. Trying to recover confidence after what everyone just saw will be nearly impossible. But you know what isn't impossible? Getting free tokens. If that sounds good to you, check out this video.